We hope that you're all doing well and, and looking forward to the holidays. Um, we're excited holiday to be here with you today. Hanukkah. That's right. We're going to talk with you today about Hanukkah. It's my second favorite holiday. My Christmas is my favorite. So we hope that you're all enjoying this holiday time. And let's start with our uh, affirmation. We are Unitarian Universalists, a church of open minds, loving hearts, and helping hands. So, this is the Hanukkah story basket, and this is something that Jewish people are celebrating all over the world right now. And you may know somebody, or maybe you celebrate yourself. And for those that aren't familiar with Hanukkah, we're going to share the story with you today. In a faraway land, thousands of years ago, the people lived in peace and worshipped in many different ways and in many different places. Among these people that worshipped were the Jewish people. They worshipped their God in a building called a temple. And you may have seen a temple in Haverhill or where you live. Some call it a synagogue. So in this temple are the Jewish people here. Thank you for helping set this up for me. And in the temple, there is a very special flame. It burned all the time, day and night, as a reminder of God's constant presence. Each day, the Jewish people fed the flame with special sacred oil to keep it burning. The ruler of this land was Emperor Antiochus, and he wanted everyone to do what he did. One day, he went to the temple and he said to the Jews, you must believe what I believe. You must worship as I worship. And he made them leave their temple. He saddened the Jews and made them feel bad inside. He destroyed a lot of the temple. The Jewish people did not like that. They didn't have their place of worship. They wanted to worship their own God in their own temple. So their army, the Maccabees, they fought for their freedom and they won. When the Jewish people got back to their temple, much had been damaged. And the eternal flame had gone out. They began to repair their temple. They worked together. And they lit the flame that reminded them of God's presence. But the special oil that fed the flame had been spilled. And there was only enough oil to burn for one night. They waited around this light, sadly, for it to go out. They waited and they waited. They waited for eight days and nights until the Jews were able to get more oil. This flame that had very little oil lasted for eight nights. And 
happening now, thousands of years later. The Jewish people still celebrate this miracle, and they call it Hanukkah. They gather family together. They play dreidel together. They eat potato latkes together. They sing songs together. They share simple gifts together. They eat jelly donuts together. They find chocolate gelt together. And they say their blessings together. They remember the story of their fight for freedom and the miracle of the sacred night. I wonder if you've seen or heard any of this before. I wonder which part you like the best. I wonder how the Jews felt when they had to leave their temple. I wonder how they felt when they came back and they stood around the flame that burned for eight days and eight nights. Thank you for sharing this story with us. We hope you have wonderful holidays and we're going to put this away before we say goodbye. And when we go back to church together, You'll be able to do this story basket. It's nice to have someone to help you. Thank you for helping today, Henry. I wonder if any of you have somebody that you like to help at home or someone who helps you. Would you like to close with us, Henry? Come over here. May there be peace before you, behind you, above you, below you, from your heart to your lips, to everyone. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful holiday season, and we hope to see you again soon. Bye. Mama, it's too deep. Bye.